Yo, what's up? It's Giles, aka the One Meal Monster. Yo, all right. <laughs> Firstly, this is the first time I've used that name officially, and it it actually feels kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, it feels kind of cool. All right. <laughs> that being said, if you're wondering why I'm all sweaty and everything, it's because I just finished a bout of cardio, and on my trusted air bike, I tried over there, which I'm not going to show you right now because my room's a mess. And we all know that we all like to hide our messes in the corners and in the cupboards and we don't want anyone to see it. So when I clean my room, I'm going to show you my air bike. <laughs> so that being said, I get a lot of questions about what's with the name and what's in the name and what is this one meal monster. And for those that do not know me, um, I've been eating one meal a day for the last around six years or so. Most of the time, okay, like 99% of the time, you'll see me eat once a day. Uh, I sometimes break that rule on a Sunday and I definitely break that rule whenever I go out for parties or when I go out for picnics or I'm traveling or I'm, because I'm a foodie, I'm a huge foodie, okay, if you've ever known me in my past, you've known that I was a hell of overweight as a kid and it took me a lot of time and a lot of effort to get to where I am and yeah, so huge foodie, I love my food. That being said, back to why I eat just once a day. So, uh, it's an extreme form of intermittent fasting, but the thing is, I'm not just doing it for the whole intermittent fasting benefits, that's all, whatever. I mostly do it, like, every time people ask me, Giles, uh, aren't you scared about losing muscle mass? Or Giles, do you know that eating five meals a day is better for muscle protein synthesis, muscle protein synthesis and la 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 la. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's that she sells, she sells, sells. Oh. <laughs> they say Giles, isn't it better for muscle protein synthesis? Uh, to eat five times a day and everything and everything and uh, Giles, how are you able to perform after eating only once a day and everything like that? And the thing is, I actually do not really care about muscle protein synthesis. I want to perform a certain way and I'm able to perform way better than 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 that uh, by eating once a day. So that thing is checked out. When it comes, comes to muscle protein synthesis, I'm not really worried about losing muscle mass because there are better things in life to do than worry about how much muscle you have on your body. Uh, that being said, uh, I do get to the whole science behind it. I do get that if I really wanted to perform to my optimum peak and everything like that, chances are I should be carb loading and everything before either an athletic performance thing or whatever. But the thing is, I'm not really an athlete. I'm not, like I am one, I'm a coach and everything. But the thing is, I want to be a jack of all trades, kind of good at everything. Um, and I'm not really looking to perform to my crazy amount in one specific thing. All right, that being said, all this out of the window, the main reason I do it is to overcome the mental burden of, uh, you know, going through a difficult situation and trying to put a certain output of performance and everything out there, pushing from pretty much an empty stomach or whatever you may call it. So, like I'll give you an example for a, of a good day of training for me. It'll be waking up in the morning, doing a bout of training from like an hour and a half or so, coming back, doing some cardio and then maybe having a nap or something and then in the afternoon or something going to the gym and doing a good gym session over there and then coming home and chilling out training clients etc etc that would be like the ideal day for me i certainly do not get many ideal days i might be able to do that like maybe three or four times a week but with the whole clients and everything it's tough to balance that act but i do the best that i can uh, that being said uh, back to the whole mental barrier of training um, I love the idea of pushing from an empty stomach or an empty space. It's like I do get hungry. Like a lot of people think I do not get hungry. A lot of people think that I'm so used to it and everything. But just yesterday, and I'll tell you how my mind works and how my brain works. What happens to me is yesterday, I sat down and I was doing something on the computer. And uh, there was a jar of peanuts in the corner. I love peanuts, okay? <laughs> so there was a jar of peanuts in the corner. And my mind got a like i got vision of it like i know it's there and a part of me went and said like you know what child just one day let yourself go go eat some peanuts you train enough anyway you push yourself enough anyway you do this enough anyway you do that enough anyway you can slack off for one day and uh, that's where the discipline and the mindset kind of caught me you know i was like giles this is what you're trying to train this is what you're trying to do you're trying to tell yourself that when something is available to you, 
okay now i love food food is easily available to us we're not hungry we're not going starving or anything like that uh, there's plenty at all uh, but here's the thing if for one all right when something is freely available to you do you just indulge when you don't really need it or do you hold yourself back and try to you know discipline yourself to not do something okay and i feel that that trains me to kind of not do something that's easily available now this could translate into many aspects of life it's like for example if there's a wrong path that's very easily available to you to do something and mm, sweat okay or say there's a situation that you crave or say your body craves a few things like say smoking for example all right how do you train yourself to overcome that thing of not wanting to smoke all right because the mind in that moment my entire world revolved around that jar of peanuts because that's all i wanted to do and i was craving it so bad but here's how i work if i went and eat the jar of peanuts i would have then told myself jazz you've already eaten you could take a day off and just relax for today all right but now that's where your down slide kind of a thing happens the moment you let yourself go over here chances are your brain and my brain is very lazy okay my brain constantly wants to not do the right thing and uh, pun intended wink wink okay anyway my brain constantly wants to do the wrong thing so the moment i get a little bit of that thing happening over here i tend to slide into this happening and now when i'm okay with here this has become my new threshold and my new level of what i'm willing to tolerate for myself then if i slip to here i'll be like you know what charles you can't slide here and then you slowly start realizing you slowly start getting into a spiral of like a downward spiral and then you do not know after a certain time where up is anymore or you might not just recognize yourself so for me it comes partly from the discipline of having something available to you and choosing to say no to that something holding back from that something now don't get me wrong i i have Okay one of the main reasons I'm not uploading in the last few months is because I was not very good at myself and uh, I did some morally very questionable things hurt some people and I've been feeling like if I went and uploaded something or when I did something I was just doing my workouts and everything I was trying to dis- discipline myself there and disciplining myself like that's always been a discipline but I've been trying to keep it up and get back to a certain groove where I'm happy with the person here and uh, it felt very hypocritical to post stuff about self improvement and stuff about discipline and here and there where my life has not been the best because that makes me like one of those very unhealthy trainers who force their clients to train and they are not healthy or they are not in the best shape themselves and i never want to be hypocritical with what i say do you know talk to people mean anything like that so for me i have to pull back a lot seek forgiveness a lot overcome a lot of things and uh, slowly try to move ahead but that's a story for another day maybe and uh, back to the one meal thing so again that's where the slip and slide thing happens like yeah you let yourself go in a certain place and then you just let yourself go fully it's it's insane how quickly uh, you just don't recognize the person that you used to be or uh, <laughs> the person you were and uh, getting back to that place it takes a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of everything so for one it helps me keep disciplined where i'm purposely overcoming a certain hardship and still trying to get to a goal so that keeps your mind sharp it's like constantly in that state of you know i need to push through i need to overcome this barrier and then it translates into real life where you know a lot of time in my life i used to think that you know freaking hell man if i was from a rich family i could have done this if i was from a very well to do family i could have done that or if i was this i could have done this and that and i could have done that but the thing is when you realize how much you can do with how little you have it kind of makes you responsible to do a lot more when you actually have more if you can come up and if you can use this much to do this much then when you finally have this much you can do exponentially a lot while i feel like if you have everything going for you and if you have no hardship in life it doesn't let you do the best that you can do like for example if I, i personally believe if you give an organism everything it needs to survive if you give it as much food as it needs if you give it as much shelter as it needs if you give it as much happiness as much love but you take away the hardship from that organism chances are that organism is going to die okay and i feel like it's hardship that causes us to evolve into a better 
thing into a better species, into a better person, into a better anything. So for one, it keeps my mind constantly on that state of hardship and to overcome that little bit of a barrier that's there. Secondly, and my chain of thought has kind of gotten disconnected. So give me a second while I get back to it and I might make a mini cut here and come back to what I was thinking of. Uh, music is on okay before I come back and think about that thing let me add another thing into the equation now as a coach I constantly train people day in and day out and uh, many a time clients come to me and they're like Giles I've not had breakfast can you please go easy on me today I cannot train I cannot do this I cannot do that you know and uh, I'm feeling so weak and this and that and I remind them who they're talking to <laughs> they're talking to me so I just go like bro listen or uh, Oh, just listen, and there's a baby screaming in the bathroom upstairs. Yeah, yeah, that's what the clients do also, by the way. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, so then I just go to them like, yo, you're talking to me. And many a time when I train people, it's, uh, I'm still on an empty stomach. I eat my one meal in the night when my day is done. I, For me, in a way, it's like a hunt, but I go throughout the day. I am hunting, my, I'm hunting for my food, I'm doing my stuff. Here and there, and then in the evening, I bring my hand back and I'm able to cook it and eat it. That's how I go about it. So a lot of times when people say that to me, I'll say, okay, you know what? I've already trained once. I've already probably trained twice. Uh, for you, I'm going to train with you as well. I've still not eaten since last night. Sorry. So let's go for it. And then when they see you doing something through hardship that you put yourself through, it also inspires them to do a lot better. And then they realize, like I've realized this about the mind, is the moment you tell your mind that this thing is impossible to do. Oh, I cannot do this. Like a lot of times when I tell people, you know, you should just try it. Just try eating once a day. Okay, I'm not saying it just for the sake of, you know, them wanting to lose weight or anything like that. I say it because um, it just gets you to train with that hardship in your mind. It's like when your body is hungry, are you still able to push? When your body is tired, are you still able to do something? When your mind is craving something, are you still able to do something? When something is freely available to you, are you able to hold back and just be limited and moderate with your consumption of things? So in a way, it keeps you on track like that. So one of the uh, I realize every time I tell my clients that uh, pa, 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 I realize that every time I tell my clients, you know, try a few days with just eating once a day or something like that, and they straight up say, "I cannot do this." But now here's the thing about the mind. The moment you tell your mind you cannot do something, your mind switches off every avenue or every way of doing that something. All right? It's like, it's done. Everyone's mind is lazy. The moment you tell it, no, this is not possible. There's no way, shape or form your mind is going to think of ideas on how to do it. The moment you tell yourself, I'm going to do my best and I want to try and make this possible, click. All right? Like that day when I was sitting and looking at the peanuts, the moment I told myself, listen, Giles, you're being stupid about this. You don't need those peanuts. You're not going to eat those peanuts. The moment I said you're not going to do this, hunger gone. My training uh, determination went from here to like through the roof. It went like boom. It was like a switch that clicked off and everything ran really well. I had one of the best training sessions I could have done yesterday. And it was insane. It body moved like butter. Everything fired really well. It was just beautiful. So the moment you don't give up and you don't tell your lazy mind that this is not possible, wonderful things happen in that zone. All right? Same thing when you're training, same thing with your eating, same thing with whatever habit you might be wanting to break. You tell yourself, listen, that is not happening. I'm not going to smoke that cigarette. I'm not going to drink that alcohol. I'm going to get up in the morning and move. Boom. You get up in the morning and move. All right, it doesn't happen overnight, okay? It takes time, it takes effort, okay? Like you need to practice these things because practice is what's gonna make you perfect. But then also you have to keep in mind that practice of the wrong thing also makes you more and more imperfect. So make sure you are very in tune with what you're practicing and everything and do the right things on a daily basis. But uh, try to practice the right things on a daily basis. But uh, yeah, that being said, for me, Eating one meal a day goes way beyond the physiological benefits of muscle protein synthesis and becoming big biceps and becoming strong and whatever, whatever. For me, it's mostly about fighting the voice that's over here that's telling you to take the easy way, that tells you to 
not do the harder thing and the thing with the mind is the more you do the harder thing the easier the harder thing becomes to do so today it's not eating once a day tomorrow it could be something that you know where i morally won't fall and do something incorrect or where if there's someone's cell phone on the table i want to take it from my pocket and run away okay i'm not going to do that anyway but i'm just saying giving an example but uh, yeah so that's pretty much it's mostly because of self discipline it's mostly because of overcoming a hardship and trying to adapt through that hardship and seeing where it goes from there and hopefully building me slowly into a better person for tomorrow all right one of the most beautiful things a close friend of mine recently told me is like you know what child imagine if all of us are just really energy and then our energy after we die comes out and goes into something else are you leaving the world okay like say you consume 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 you destroy 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 you do this you do this, you do that you do that you do, you do that and you leave waste of a lot of shit behind are you giving that energy to flow into a better world or a worse world and i think by making choices and by doing the right thing and by self disciplining yourself by holding back when you really need to hold back you somewhat put goodness in the world and i think it counts for something so yours to that and even if it doesn't count for something yours to that as well at least of being a good person <laughs> all right and yeah so that's pretty much it that's why i eat one meal a day i might cover this better in the future when i properly have my chain of thought in one place i was on the bike i just got off the bike and i said i'm going to make this video because i've been procrastinating about it for a while and yeah Uh, if you like these videos and i'm going to be way more consistent now with my uploads and everything so you're going to hear my voice a lot more okay if you don't want to hear my voice unsubscribe from me right now because it's going to be a lot like it's going to be a lot like it might come to you when you're sleeping in the night and it might be like a voice that's talking to you yeah and then when you look out the window i might be there waving i see how this shit that's so creepy <laughs> anyway so <laughs> that being said <laughs> okay this is one meal once to signing out i'll catch you all in the next video um i'm not going to put a schedule on when i'm going to do it but i'm definitely going to be trying to shoot at least 3 or 4 videos a week and uploading them it could be of my thoughts it could be of just me working out um also i was i'll do that for instagram live cancel that also i was <laughs> all right i will catch you all in the next one take care one meal monster signing out wow I don't know if that's cool but okay what about <laughs>